What is up guys? Welcome back. Today we are uh, rewinding a little bit um, with all the hustle and bustle of Gen 7 coming out and at the time the GOT was going on uh, and a, a bunch of different leagues were starting and ending and different things were happening and there was a huge shift in the channel, in my channel specifically, and I forgot about everything that I used to do. Uh, and I'm gonna get back on track right now. We're gonna change all of that. We're going to make sure that we have um, different kinds of uh, showdown lives for you every week. And starting with Gen 7 Random Battles, because I haven't done a Random Battle Live yet this gen. I'm 31 uh, lives deep, and I've only done tiered lives so far. So it's going to be nice to get something a little bit different, something where I don't have to stress about making a team. And that was the big thing for me. Uh, when I used to upload uh, on based on a schedule, it was Mondays was OU lives, Tuesdays was UU, Wednesdays was RU, and then Thursdays would be Battle Factory or um, Battle Factory or Random Battles, and I would alternate. And then Friday we would have a team builder uh, for a league, and then Saturday we would have the league match, and then Sunday I would just do something random or not upload. And I kind of missed that, and I completely forgot that that was my core. Uh, I want to say core message, but. Uh, this is somebody that says core message that I really don't like. But anyway, um, that was my, my core principle on the channel was to have uh, that sort of upload schedule. And it always worked really well for me because it meant that I only needed to design one new team in three tiers per week. That's it. Just, just three teams. And sometimes I could take some from other people. Uh, I, it would give me enough time rather than having to upload like four OU lives one after another. And I'm just like at a loss for... Uh, w what should I build now? What, what do I do differently? Especially with the, the way this, uh, the tier is so stale. So we're getting back into the, the groove of things. I'm going to start it off. Today's Saturday, obviously. Next week, our first uh, battle for the GPC will be going up. So that's, uh, that's something to look forward to. And that also means that uh, lives like this won't be happening on Saturdays. Uh, I used to sometimes put a, a second OU live during the week, if you guys remember that, um, on Saturdays to accompany my league battle for that uh, for that week. So uh, it was it was kind of nice uh, to sometimes have that, sometimes not. I would alternate it, uh, alternate it, sometimes make it on the Sunday. You know, I had a lot of wiggle room when it came to the weekend, especially. And uh, my opponent's gonna switch out into this. Okay, I don't have anything for this, do I? <laughs> uh, I'll go into Starmie. But yeah, so it gave me a lot of wiggle room in that regard. We are natural cure. Nice. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go for T-Ball. Uh, yeah, so basically this is going to be uh, the way that I'm going to be functioning now. Mondays is going to be UU. Tuesdays is going to be RU. Uh, Wednesdays is going to be random battles. And then I'm going to try to get a second UU live out on Thursdays. And then we're going to have a team builder for the GPC every Friday. And because I'm going to be doing live comms, so I can't do the team builder during the live comm anymore. And then Saturdays, we're going to have our live comm, and I might bring you a, set, a third UU live, a second RU live, another random battle live. That's that's up to me. If I feel like giving you a double upload on that game, I will. Uh, on that game, on that day, <laughs> I will. So that's uh, that's the direction I want to take it now. Uh, I'm feeling very good about that. I, th I thought about that. I was like just playing a different game, uh, and it, it came to me. I was just like, wait a minute. Whatever happened to uh, random battles, I don't do that anymore. And um, it was upsetting. <laughs> I, I completely forgot one of the uh, the core principles to my channel, which was uh, keep an upload schedule. And it always used to work for me. Uh, and then I just like completely shifted away from that. So yeah, glad to be back on it now. Uh, we have a Lunala. <laughs> I'm just saying we have a Lunala. So let's go into Lunala because Lunala is bulky as all hell. Um, we have Starmie and uh, Excadrill, two best spinners. Uh, Natural Cure activates, that's always nice. He is going to go for Earthquake. Uh, that is going to hit us, but did you guys see how much that did? I didn't. I'm going for a Calm Mind. <laughs> Yo, this thing is bulky. This thing is currently level 73, and I don't, need, I don't know if you guys see its bulk. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. <laughs> I can only imagine what it's like fully invested at level 100. That's insane. We're almost as fast as a Haxor is too right now, and that thing's four levels above me. That's saying a lot. Are right, gonna get this Calm Mind off? Uh, Moon Guys Beam. What does this do? This Pokemon. This move uh, ignores uh, the abilities of other. Po Wait, really? It's like a Mold Breaker built in. Yo, base 100 Ghost. 
Yo. Yo. Look how much that did. Shell smash? Yo, you're not doing anything to me. I, I'm not I'm not concerned. Going for another Moon Guy's beam. He's definitely faster. Actually, there's a chance that he's not faster than us right now. Actually, he can never outspeed me. <laughs> he can never outspeed me at this level. Wow. All right. Oh, there goes that. Uh, in comes Durant. Uh, I'm just going for another Moon Guy's beam, honestly. Like, uh, x Scissor is going to do very, very little. And this might even knock out Durant uh, as it does. Wow. <laughs> That's insane. Uh, in comes Kabalion. Not sure what you're going to do to me, but I'm just going to go for Moon Guy's Beam. Look look how little that does. Look how bulky this thing is. It's insane. I'm going for a Roost now. Uh, is, oh, oh, okay. I see you. Nice and taunt. It doesn't matter because half his team is dead anyway. So that really doesn't matter at all right now. Um, I should have I should have probably gone for the Roost on his first attack on the Stone Edge. But it's, uh, it's okay. In comes Heracross. Oh, Heracross. I don't know how well you're taking this, buddy. Probably should have gone into this first, honestly. This probably would have done more damage to me than anything else you sent out. Uh, this is going to do a very good amount. Pin Missile is going to be able to take me out, actually. It's going to need five hits to do so, but it, do it does make it there. Uh, and now we can just go into Swallow <laughs> and just clean up this game. That's amazing. When you have the Swallow, it's just so easy. But yeah, guys, uh, this is uh, this is so fun. Like this, just sitting back. I wasn't sitting back just now, just so you know. But uh, just sitting back like this and just like chilling and, and talking to you guys and just having fun playing random battle live, where I don't really have to think about the plays that I make too often. Uh, that was, and I get to use mons that I haven't yet as well. Like there are a lot of Gen 7 mons that I haven't gotten a chance to use, like like uh, yet. Excuse me, like Rabombi. We actually get our opponent's lead from last game. Um, what do I want to do here? I kind of don't want to stay in. Yeah, we're going to this. Um, but yeah, so the, the fact that I get to see different sets, different mons, um, like what, like if I get a, um, a Mudsdale, for example, I want to see what Showdown puts as its default set, you know, for that mon, which is really cool. Just like Lunala, you know, the, the call, that Calm Mind Roost Moon Guys Beam Focus Blast set is kind of insane. Uh, in comes Snorlax to eat that up. Beautiful. Um, we're Life Orb. Wow. Uh, I'm just going to go for the Earthquake then. That's going to do a good amount of damage. But yeah, so hopefully I'll be able to stick that as schedule. Now, I could introduce back... I, I know I said like a couple of episodes ago that I didn't want to do OU Lives anymore. But um, I could try to introduce um, OU Lives into the channel. Um, we'll see though. I have to really think about it. See how I want to, um, to approach the situation because of course... Uh, it is very touchy right now with uh, with how bored I am with the tier. Oh, okay. Um, I didn't think he'd be faster than us, but there goes our, our response to his Aurorus. Uh, actually, we have another one right here. <laughs> That's fine. Oh, hello. Get 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 over here. <laughs> this. Oh, okay. We didn't get, get to continue our uh, our off season link for the um, the UPA, but that would have been really cool because uh, I had this monster. And this thing was ready to do some work, but yeah. If uh, let me know what you guys think actually in the comments down below. If you guys want to see OU lives, uh, then I'll try to bring them to the channel uh, as often as I can. I'll try to get some original teams. Try to do some wacky stuff. Like I'll try to make it like these random battle lives, you know, where I just bring something that's completely non-viable in the tier. And that's like I said, that's another series that I do want to bring back. Actually, you know what? We'll do that. Here, I'll change it up. We're going to... Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, Shaman, I don't know if you're going to live this, even if I'm at minus two. You're probably dead. Um, this is another thing that we can do instead. <laughs> I can have a UU Live on Monday. Then we can do on Tuesdays, we can bring back that series that I was talking about, Overuse Me, where you use a Pokemon um, that... Um, that shouldn't be viable in the OU tier, but it is, uh, you can still bring it up and, and uh, increase its usage, basically. The point of the series was to uh, increase the usage of uh, a Pokemon that was way, way below the, the tier, way, way below over you, uh, overused, OU, and bring it up, like get all of you guys to participate and uh, get into, um, I'm going to lose to this, aren't I? No, I'm fine, I'm fine. Uh, <laughs> get all of you guys to use that Pokemon on the ladder as much as possible. And 
uh, we all try together to get that Pokemon's usage all the way up to the point that it has to be OU. That it gets past that like 6.8% mark, which is like double uh, 3.4, uh, which is what they use to increase the... Um, what they use to increase uh, the the tiering of Pokemon is, is that specific number. It's 3.41 usage, 3.41%. Uh, so the, the point is to get it so overused in the OU tier that it has to rise up, that it has to go all the way up to OU. So uh, we're going to claim victory there. So is that two wins? I think that's two wins so far. That's very nice. Uh, we've been playing very decently. Are, are we even ranked in this tier? Hold on a second. Let me, let me just pull up my my rank real quick for uh, random battles uh, battle factory I miss you bro <laughs> I miss you um, I can't wait till they bring that back on it uh, like honestly that's gonna be so so good um, but like we need an established tier for that to, to re-exist like all all the tiers established uh, with with a bunch of uh, of sets up on the analyses as well on the on the smog on website for all the new mons and everything so uh, where's random battles am i blind gen 7 random battle there it is oh i'm 24 and 7 okay <laughs> all right um in power fighting this is salamensite Ooh, hello um we'll go into dawn fan actually i think that's fine as he's going to Mega Evolve and go for a Bullet Punch. That's not going to do much at all. Beautiful. We'll go for... Aw, oh, we don't have rocks. Aw, oh, Wormadam has rocks. Okay. Alright, we'll go for Earthquake. Hopefully this thing is an SD or it's going to blow me back right now. <laughs> if this thing is SD, we actually just lose. Uh, I have Misty Terrain up, so that's not bad. He goes into Landorus. Okay. Um, I'm going to go for the Ice Shard. Maybe he thinks I don't have it. What, what is this team right now? Uh, I'm, I'm feeling like this is a Gen 7 um, OU team before Landorus got banned. That's what it feels like right now. He goes for Calm Mind. That's awesome. Uh, we're going to go for another Shard. And uh, then we can just go into something else and revenge this after. Uh, that actually knocks him out. Beautiful. Okay. Cool. So, uh, Don Fan's almost back to sturdy. Um, I really have to like look into exactly how much HP something gains back um, with leftovers like the exact number of hit points uh, and really like when I'm prepping for league battles like adjust it correctly so that like if I'm switching my Dawn Fan in on rocks yes 248 HP is cool because it takes the least amount of damage but does that also mean that it doesn't go back up to full with leftovers uh, because I, I've experienced that with like I think Skarmory where I would switch in to rocks and I wouldn't get hit for two turns and sometimes my health would go up to full, and other times I'd be at 99. And I think that's really important, especially with Sturdy Mons, that you'd be able to get back up to full uh, after a Stealth Rock switch in. So that's something I'm definitely going to look into. If any of you guys know exactly the mechanics behind that, also let me know in the in the comments down below. Uh, let me know how that works. But my opponent's going to bring, bing, uh, bing, bring in a threat right now. Um, I'm going to go into Serena. We should be fine. We're Choice Scarfed. Ooh. There's the Leaf Blade, that did nothing, and uh, we are going to go for a U-turn, because it's going to do a lot of damage, uh, because I think we're max attack, uh, and that did nothing, okay. Uh, <laughs> let's go into Salamence, let's see what he's got. He's got uh, Sub, okay, cool, that's fine. Uh, I'm going to go for a Dragon Dance, right here I think, Mega and Dragon Dance up, as my bulk goes up as well, as he's going to go for a Synthesis, that's fine with me. Uh, now I can go for a Return. And uh, this is a very, very strong return. This is like a level 100 regular Mensa's um, outrage, I guess you could say, roughly. So at plus one, by the way, as well. He's gonna go for Baton Pass. I, I don't, I don't see what you can switch into. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's go for Earthquake. Let's knock this thing out. Hopefully, it'll be able to knock it out. I think it should be able to. Well, we'll see, but. Um... Salamen uh, Mega Salamence is obviously a lot bulkier than regular Salamence, so it can definitely take two bullet punches from Scizor. A lot better than uh, than regular Salamence can, so I'm not too worried about it. We've got a really solid team as well, like look at this. Do I have a fire type on this team? No, I do not. That's, that's like literally all that's missing in this team is, oh my god, he lived on one. Okay. Uh, he's Life Orb as well. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. 
Uh, as long as Bullet Punch can't take me out, which I don't think it can, because that was a Life Orb Thunderbolt and it did a little over half. So let's uh, let's just find that out. I don't like calcing during these, and I'm gonna have to get used to that again because it's like pointless. It's just for fun, right? So let's see Mega Scizor, Bulky Sword Dance versus Salamence. Mega Salamence, Uber Dragon Dance, Bullet Punch. Uh, if he's the if he's the offensive set, though, I just want to see. Mega Scizor, Offensive Swords Dance. Yeah, it still only does 32% max. Latias comes in. Hmm. Um, you probably take a return, but I don't think you take a Draco Meteor. You do. Okay. Well, never mind me. Um, <laughs> we still got a lot of damage off though, so that's good. Uh, we are also Choice Scarf Serena, which I believe outspeeds this, which is awesome. And we will just go for the U-turn, which should be able to knock it out. Um, I think it's leftovers, right? Yeah, it is. Okay. Well, if it doesn't knock it out, then I can always go into Top of Fini, but it does. Awesome. Okay. Uh, now, the little a little issue that I have right now is that I have absolutely nothing for Scizor, and that's going to be a problem. Except we're Specs Gothitelle. Okay, that could that could work. Um, let's go into Wormadam, because Wormadam isn't immediately threatened by anything that I've seen so far. But look at that team. Latias, Raikou, Lando I, Mega Scizor. Like, the only bad mon he's shown so far is, is Leafeon. I guess you could say the same for me, like, the only bad mon that I've shown is Wormadam, but, like, Raikou is far superior to, uh, Tarina, <laughs> by, by far. Uh, in comes Relicanth. Now, uh, I should be slightly faster, uh, in theory, but I'm not, okay, that's fine. We'll go for the Stealth Rocks. Um, I can go for Earthquake here, decent attack. Yeah, let's go for Earthquake. Goes for Waterfall, gets a crit, does he get the flinch? No, he does not. Awesome, so we're able to weaken his Relicanth. And, uh, I do not go down, unfortunately. I kind of wanted to go down right there. Um, but that's okay. I'll just go into, uh, Serena after and just start Trop Kicking. The cool thing about Trop Kick is that it always lowers, lowers your opponent's attack. So, uh, like, if he wants to switch in his Scizor, it's gonna get, like, basically, um, stopped dead in its tracks from being able to do anything. Unless, of course, once again, it's Swords Dance, in which case then it can do something. Um, but... Good thing is that it doesn't have any kind of recovery either. So let's go for the Trop Kick. It's going to do a very little amount of damage, but we are going to get that attack drop, which is very useful. Oh, wait a minute. I'm Calm Mind. Oh, I didn't see that before. Okay, so I do have a way to deal with this. Okay, well, let's start by, I think, go yeah, let's go into Tapu Fini. As he's going to go for the superpower. Awesome. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And now we're going to go for the, the uh, sub. Oh, can we sub? We're sub call my oh, oh this game is over. Sorry about whatever I just did with my voice there, but this is this is done. In comes Relicanth. We're going for sub. We're going for Calm Mind. And uh Eventually one of his head smashes will miss. And the second one does. Uh then we will pretty much have this game won. Um I just need to get a, up a couple of Calm Minds as he is going to go for the head smash. He's rock hit, so he doesn't take any kind of recoil from that, which is a little bit annoying. Um, I could switch out into Dawn Fan as well. Or into Gothitelle. Either one, really. I'm gonna go for sub, though. Just, just to see if he's gonna miss. He goes for Toxic. Nice. Okay, cool. So let's go for Surf. Uh, it's not gonna do too much, I don't think. Uh, it's going to do... Okay, well, it's gonna crit and kill him. <laughs> so, yes, it does do a lot. Uh, now, Scizor can come in, but it still has to take two Surfs. Leafeon is going to take a nice beam to the face, so this is fantastic. He can't set up subs on me, uh, even if it is faster, which I don't... Eh, it could be. If it's max speed, it could be faster. Yeah, it is faster, okay. He crits my sub. That didn't matter at all. We are almost going to knock out the Leafeon, and we're going to freeze it. Oh, that sucks. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> that really sucks. I'm not going to say I'm sorry, but, like, I'm actually sorry. Like, if you're watching this, Lord Saber 242, I'm sorry, man. I am. But, uh, yeah, no, that's going to take care of the Leafeon, and, um, Finny should be able to clean up this game with this weakened Scizor in front of it. I can just go for Surf. I'm also faster than any variant of this Mega Scizor. He's going to go for Bullet Punch, and even a crit won't do it. This is GG, so. GG to my opponent. Uh, I still had a Gothitelle in the back that could deal with his Leafeon anyway, so it's not a huge deal. And, uh, we're up to 1424. I'm, I'm sure that's, like, nowhere on the ladder. Let, let's check. Let's check. Oh my god. <laughs> These people are crazy. What is this? 
Okay, well, this is uh, incentive right here to uh, bring back this series for sure. I still have that game open. But yeah, guys, if you did enjoy, uh, let me know in the comment section down below if you're excited to, to have these again because not a lot of people do these uh, and record them. Not that I know of anyway. Uh, it's very, very rare. Like, the closest thing was Battle Factory Lives uh, that people used to do, like, um, AIM and Blunder and stuff. But as far as random battles are concerned, uh, it's not considered competitive. It's more just a fun thing. And uh, you get to discover things along the way, like different sets. Like that, that Tapu Fini set was actually pretty cool. I might try to use that at some point. But uh, yeah, no, if you did enjoy as well, make sure to leave a like down below for me. Always lets me know that you guys are enjoying all of my content. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already, if this is your first time here. And I will catch you guys later. Ciao.